unbelievable. The rotation's unbelievable. The Mets fucking rolling. First team in the league to 10 wins. Like, that's crazy. Yeah. And the difference, I mean, a complete difference from last year is we don't have Luis Rojas as our manager. We actually have <laughs> someone that has experience and knows how to manage. I mean, Buck Showalter, he's that guy. He I really is. I love that guy. He will, and Buck we trust. Oh, and Buck we trust. He will defend any of his players. I mean, he, he was literally close to throwing hands with a few of the, the Nationals in that opening series when they were throwing at us. Yeah, I it was loving crazy. that. Him getting to the top of the dugout just looking angry. It was fucking great. <laughs> yeah, no, I love Buck. I actually love our whole coaching staff. I love uh, Eric Chavez was a great addition as our hitting coach. Yeah. He was a great player with the athletics. So, I don't know. I just love – I think this is just a complete roster, complete management. You know, everything there is there this year compared to other years. Who is uh, – I've heard a lot of people talking about the third base coach. The third base coach? Um Oh, Joey Cora. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know much about him. Um, yeah, but, yeah, I've heard no, he's Eric a Chavez too. is a great, great hitting coach that we added. Um, and then we brought back uh, Jeremy Hefner from last year, who was a little there bit suspect. But, you know, I don't know. It seems like he's got the boys pitching. So If Buck believes in him, I do too. So we're good. Yeah, and Buck we trust. I mean, that guy's been there. Buck's coached some of the best players in the MLB. I mean, he coached the Orioles – and the Orioles haven't been relevant in years, and he was the last coach when they were relevant. He's been uh, in the talks to be the Mets manager for a few years now, and it's exciting that he's finally here. He's an absolute unit. I love everything about him. Like, it just seems like the team's so much different. Everybody's, like, so confident in him. Everybody just seems locked out. And I know we seemed locked in last year, but it was just, like, different. Like, we just – well, we have a leader now. Yeah. Luis Rojas wasn't that guy. Like, yeah. he wasn't that guy to, like, bring the clubhouse together. Yeah. And now with Buck, it's like, all right, we look up to this guy. We know he's been here. Like, we believe in this guy. Like, Roas had no resume to yeah. have any respect. Buck has that respect, and he he's, like, a personal enough dude. Like, he goes up to his players, and, like, they all respect him. Um, so, I don't know. I love Buck, and I'm, yeah. happy with, I'm happy he's our coach. Big Buck guys over here. Fucking Louie was just, like – he was just, like, one of the homies in the dugout, like, not even, like, a head coach. Like, he was just chilling. Like, everybody was boys with him. Everybody was happy. But, like, we just weren't locked in. Buck he didn't have like any going fire. In the right direction. Exactly. Buck doesn't fuck around. Buck is a no-nonsense guy. Like, even you were Rojas, saying when they were throwing yeah. at us in the first series, like, he was ready to fight a pitcher. Like, what are you doing, man? Yeah, no, Buck is, like, he's that guy. Like, he will, he will fucking fight. Like, he would fight on the field, like, if they had to. Like, he would love to scrum. So, you know, I love <laughs> that guy. I love that guy. 